This is Greg Rakestraw, and you're watching the UND Experience. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. If, if it were just coaching, that would keep you busy. But you've got a facility to manage as well. Tell us about, uh, again, it's, it's not so new for you, but still new for a lot of our viewers. Tell us about uh, the seven-court indoor complex you manage just off campus. Yeah, it's a great facility. We're really lucky to have it. It's a great part of our university and a great part of our athletic department. Um, we do uh, use it primarily for our practices and our uh, matches that we host a lot of, especially this time of year. But there's plenty of court space for people to come in and play leagues and matches and for some of the alums like yourself to come in there and get a little workout every now and then. And we're happy to see it, it's used so much. Spring is certainly the primary season, but what did you get out of your team's fall season in 2010? Well, we did really well. We were undefeated as a program, so our men's and women's both team won all of our dual matches. We competed in a couple of tournaments and, and really represented very well. Um, we have a pretty young squad. Um, our squads are really big this year with uh, 13 members on both the men's and women's squads, which is a record for our program. It's not always the case, but the majority of your kids, you're getting right here from your own backyard. Yes, yeah, absolutely. We recruit heavily right around the Indianapolis area and around Indiana. And then uh, we also look at teams uh, or players from the, the Midwest, but not after we take care of our local kids. All right, you ready to go? I like the sweatshirt. Uh, thank you, Bryce. See, I've had to represent today. So here we go. Tell us, being from Michigan, why you felt the University of Indianapolis was the right place for you. I just love the atmosphere here. And I really liked how, you know, it was okay to be a student and an athlete. Yeah. All of my professors are so understanding about having to leave on Fridays and make up stuff, and that's not a lot of places have that. So that's why I liked it. And I mean, Linden is a very small town, so I like being in a <laughs> bigger city of Indianapolis. I, I understand that. Tell us about the major for you here at UND. I'm a chemistry major. Okay. And. and not that there's many easy majors on campus. That is no. one of the toughest you could possibly have. So that has got to be a, a tough juggling act to practice, travel, and keep your grades up. It is hard, but I mean, I it it only helps you learning to schedule your time and management and knowing what you need to do. Is there a player, whether it's a whether it's a lady playing now or a guys player, whatever that you tried to model your game after, so to speak? I. It's surprising because I, I'm i not a power hitter. Okay. I guess I'm more like a Justine N and I just run after everything and try to get every ball back and I don't really have a power and, shot. And, and from my tennis experience, that's the trait of a successful three or four player. Just get everything back, be consistent with the other player, make their mistakes, smile and nod and shake hands and win at the end of the match. That's generally the way it goes. What's that? You can look at me. Okay. You, know, you, know, you can insert the, the Ricky Bobby joke at any time. What do I do with my hands? Car. Exactly. What's it like having the facilities, you guys? To have, to have your own locker room, to have your own pro shop, to have seven courts whenever you want to use them, what's that like for you? Oh, it's bar none. I mean, there, there are tons of D1s that don't even have right. what we have. And then you, you, you go down lower levels, you know, D2, D3, it just gets fewer and fewer, and it, it's amazing, I mean, that, that we have that nice of a facility, and, you know, I have a key to get in there whenever I want, you know, to go play and do whatever, and it, it's great. It's, it's bar none the best, best possible scenario that I could ever ask for. Right there, tell us how things are going for you in the classroom. Uh, they're going real well. Um, I, I had a 3-0 last semester, which I thought was great. That's great. But our team, I was like, I was, I think I was, fourth to last <laughs> on our team and I'm, I'm just like that, that's like some of the best grades I've ever gotten you know I've never been the best student in the classroom but I I try hard and I go to class so that's 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 very important what's the major for you right now I'm in sport management all right As always, thanks to the great folks at Donato's for hosting us for the UND Experience, located on the corner of Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Of course, you can watch these features as many times as you'd like by going to the official athletic website, the University of Indianapolis, athletics.und.edu, where you can follow all 21 of UND's intercollegiate athletics programs. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.